Here is one of the Google sites that I have set up, and this page is set to be public, so no one needs to log in to view it, which is how I recommend you set all your websites up. It's just publicly viewable. Um, and this one, though, has a permissions issue. I inserted one of my demo videos that I've already uploaded into my Google Docs. But when I click play, when I'm not logged in, it tells me I must be signed in to access this video. And even if I did try to sign in as a student, I'm not going to be able to view the video because right now the video I uploaded into my documents has the default privacy setting of being completely private. So I'm going to show you how you are able to fix that. All right, to fix that video permission issue, the first thing I need to do is log back into my Google Docs and go to Docs. Even though it's a video, that's where I've uploaded it to. And so I can see from my Docs page that here is the video that I was trying to get to play on my web page. If I click on it, it will pull it up, and I can see over here um, some of the settings. So I'm actually just going to go back. Right here is where I could share it, but if I want, I want to go back and just show the title of it. If you look over here in Adjusting Page Settings, and I get a little preview box over here, I can have a Description, Collections, and here's the Sharing Settings. You can see right now it's set private only to me. And so what I can do is right here change the sharing setting to be public. So I would just click in here and it will load and the setting that I recommend is that instead of having it private that you change that to either public on the web where anyone can find it or anyone with the link. I'm just going to make it public and they're not going to be able to edit your work um, as long as you don't check this box here. It wouldn't really work with a video anyway but just put it public on the web and click save. When you're ready just click done and now it will be viewable. And if I go back to my time tables and tips page and click refresh And now when I click play, the permissions problem is resolved. Now instead of uploading a video and changing the permission for every video or every single file, of course there is a shortcut. So what you can do is make a folder or a collection that has a public setting and everything you put in that collection is going to be um, automatically defaulted to the setting of the folder. So I'm going to create a new collection. And you can call it whatever you want. Maybe you want to call it public uploads for the web, whatever you're going to like to call it and click OK. Now when this collection loads I'm going to scroll down to it and next to it I get the little drop down and I'm going to change its sharing settings. So this is going to apply to every single file, video, whatever I put in this folder is going to have these settings. Right now it's, it defaults to private so I'm going to change that to make it public on the web. So I want everything I put in this folder to be public. I'm not going to check the editing box. I don't want them to edit it but I want them to be able to see it. I'm going to click Save. So now, when I click Done, anything I put in this Public Uploads folder is going to default to be shared with everyone. So when I go home, I have some videos here that, um, that are set as private. So let me scroll down and find one of these. You can see this Mendez video I have right now is set to private. But all I have to do is get over here to my public uploads for the web folder that is shared with everyone and just drag it right in there. So now I want to go and check to see if the permissions have changed. Over here it still shows the video as private to me. Um, but what is new is it's now in a collection called Public Uploads for the Web. And so I'm going to test it to see if this permission for the folder has overridden the private setting for this video. So I've inserted the video into just a practice site here, but I am logged in as me. So even though it plays for me, I want to make sure I sign out to see if putting it in my public folder overrode the privacy settings of it being private only, only to me. So I'm going to click Sign Out. So I'm back at my site, but I'm completely logged out, and you can tell because all my editing buttons are gone. And I'm going to click play on the video and hope I don't get the message that says that, that I have to sign in or don't have permission to view it. Okay, so it's a very short little video. It works great. So there's one quick workaround. Um, just drag, create a collection that's publicly viewable, and then everything you put in that collection will automatically take the privileges of that folder.